Greetings, this is Kanitsa with your weekly astrological forecast. So, two planets are moving into a new astrological realm this week. And this is a huge, huge thing, so I'm going to elaborate more uh, about that. And the, sat the planets are Saturn and Neptune. So, we have two kinds of planets. This is the Sun and we have some planets really close to it. Orbits are very, very fast around the Sun. And we have some planets very far remote from the Sun. Their orbits are very, very slow. The quick planets are called the personal planets and they create our weekly astrological forecast. They change a lot. Uh, the sun, as it seems from Earth, changes astrological realm every month. So does Mercury and Venus. Mars changes its astrological sign every two months or so. So these are quite quick changes that create our weekly uh, astrological forecast. But the far planets uh, are very, very slow. And they only change their location every few years or so so when they move they influence worldwide uh, issues and they're big in their influences and then we're talking about long-term influences and global influences so these uh, are the kind of uh, astrological changes that we're seeing uh, this week because we're talking about two distant and major planets that are changing their locations so the two planets are Saturn and Neptune, as I said. Saturn it only changes its astrological sign, moves from sign to sign, because it's very, very slow, every two and a half years. And when we think about the last two and a half years, which were very, very difficult, we can definitely relate them also to the location of Saturn. So for the last two and a half years, Saturn was in the sign of Capricorn, which I call the realm of the diamond. Saturn is a very difficult planet anyhow. It's the seventh and last planet seen from a, with our naked eye, so it marks the limit, the border of, a, of, of the skies as a, the ancient ones saw it at least. A, it has rings around it. It talks about limits, difficulties, uh, being frozen, something that comes to a, to a halt. And this definitely is what we experienced during the last two and a half years. Now, Saturn has two different astrological signs that are its home or they resonate with Saturn. And these are Capricorn and Aquarius. But with each sign, Saturn acts differently. So for the last two and a half years, Saturn was in one of its homes, which was Capricorn, and it created from there lots of difficulties. Freeze, stop, well, we experienced it, so I don't really need to elaborate about it. Now Saturn is shifting into Aquarius, where it also feels at home, but it acts completely, completely different there. And by the way, the astrology I'm using is the astronomical correct astrology, which I call the new astrology. If you're uh, into astrology and you feel that what I'm saying is, is not correct, these are not the signs that you know Saturn or Neptune are at, take an app and check where the planets are according to the constellations. You have lots of apps like Skywalker today and you'll see that I'm working with astronomical facts. So astronomically this week Saturn is shifting and moving into Aquarius. Now in Aquarius Saturn acts completely different. It actually shows its positive uh, side. And what's uh, Saturn's positive side? So Saturn is a teacher and it also helps build new templates, new ideas, new possibilities, new realities. In Aquarius, Aquarius talks about the individual, new original ideas. Saturn, which was giving us some <laughs> trouble in the last two and a half years, freezing us, 
actually in the new sign and the sign of Aquarius allows us to create new templates and to build things yes it's still a struggle but this time is the struggle of building something which is sustainable and this talks about our personal lives this is the time to build new things new templates new paradigms new reality but also Saturn talks about global affairs and it, it's a very optimistic time of a thing that we actually need to build new things from the start new institutes new paradigms new governments new ways of education new ways of thinking and this is what's going to happen worldwide during the two and a half years from now on and this is very very exciting because we know that everything that happened in the world in the last two and a half years actually paused everything so we can create a change in the world we don't want to go back to what was there we want to create new things and new opportunities people were frozen governments were frozen for the last two and a half years but now we can start to shift into the movement of creating new things in the education system in government ways in every every kind of um, institute and um, uh, and template that we can think about the, so this is very good and very very optimistic but to add to that Neptune has also changed its location this week and Neptune is a much slower planet so it only shifts from sign to sign every 14 years and now it moved to its home sign which is also amazing it's like the planets are going into their right location their home signs the places they resonate with naturally this is very interesting so neptune goes into pisces which is uh, i call the realm of the lake and in this realm neptune actually allows us to reconnect to nature and to reconnect to our spirituality and to our intuition let me elaborate about that Neptune wasn't in Pisces for 130 years. This is a very, very, very long time. Neptune is the planet of intuition, of the right hemisphere of creativity, but also the planet of nature. And this is something that I'm talking about also in my forecasts for quite a long time. This is a time for human beings to go back to nature, to see the healing that is there, to connect to nature, to go outside, to heal themselves from the connection to nature and when we're connected to nature actually also our intuition enhances and when our intuition is there we don't need anything else because we have our intuition to lead us to the next phase so this is something that we're going to see elaborate in the next 14 years starting from now people going from the big cities and trying to find their place in nature this is something that already happened it will grow it will expand this is the way that we're going to people in um, wanting to um, um, grow their own food to think about natural food to visit nature and also if you can't move from you know your, your a house a from in the city to somewhere you know in, in village in a village connected to nature don't worry but try bring plants into your house, to go outside, to visit nature, not only to jog quickly by the park, but to pause, connect to the tree, feel the land, maybe walk barefoot for a while on the sand or on the grass, and do what you can to connect to nature, because this is part of the healing that we'll see happening. So this is a very, very, very optimistic a time and reading these two planets changing their location are something very very good it talks about connecting back to nature and being able to build now good and new templates so if you're not following yet please make sure that you follow my channel on my site a newastrology.com you'll find much more information and your weekly astrological forecast uh, written exactly for you according to your birth sign and um, I wish you a wonderful, wonderful time. And I'll see you next week with the forecast. Bye-bye.